Almost half the homes sold last month were snapped up by first time home buyers looking to cash in on new tax credits. But that wasn't enough to turn the tide on sales. The National Association of Realtors says sales of existing homes fell 3% last month. Still, there was some good news. While the annual medium home price tumbled to $175,000, the monthly price showed its first increase in four years. J.P. Morgan economist Jim Glassman expects to see more signs that the market has reached bottom. From my point of view, you can no longer argue that the U.S. housing market is inflated relative to people's ability to afford a house. It's kind of back to normal. It's kind of back to where we were early in the decade. Now, if, if we're inflated still, then we were always inflated. So I think there's a very good chance that we're going to learn as the data come in that in fact uh, prices are beginning to stabilize. Lower home prices are a big advantage for buyers in this soft real estate market. They can get deep discounts on homes at risk of foreclosure by purchasing what's known as a short sale. But as Erica Miller explains in our continuing series, Reviving the Economy Real Estate, buying a home this way comes with big risks. Larry and Nellie Grossenbacher recently purchased this four-bedroom home in Pearl River, New York for their growing family. The couple says the $379,000 purchase price was a steal. I'd say right off the bat we probably saved over $50,000 in what a, a comparable property would be on the market. What we paid for this home would probably get us uh, maybe a two-bedroom condo for maybe half the square footage and, and no property and we have a hundred foot backyard. They got such a great price because the home was sold as a short sale. That's when the sellers owe more on their mortgage than the home is worth and the lender agrees to take less than the full value of the loan. The advantage for the bank is it takes a bad loan off the books and avoids the foreclosure process which typically costs five figures. For sellers it means less damage to their credit scores and usually a full release from burdensome mortgage debt. Short sales are growing in popularity. According to the National Association of Realtors, about 15% of home sales nowadays are short sales. That compares to the low single digits before the housing slump. But buyers need to know there can be big drawbacks to buying a home this way. It can often take months to get a bank's response to an offer. Homes are typically sold as is, and the lender usually has the right to reject the deal as well as change the terms any time before closing. Real estate attorney Steve Decker says about half of his short sale contracts don't close, wasting buyers' time and money. Certain things like an engineer's inspection, a mortgage application and appraisal, a title search, legal fees, you're going to incur all of those and you may reach the point where you're ready to go and the seller's lender says, no, we're not going to accept it. And now you as the buyer have no recourse to recover those costs from the, from the seller. And even if the deal does go through, there can often be uncomfortable confrontations with sellers, as the Grossenbachers found out. It, it definitely was an emotional process because every time we came to look at the house, the owners were here. And it really, they, they were not, they were resentful and it, they sometimes just took it out on us, even though they knew it wasn't our fault. And it was, it was very uncomfortable. For all of those reasons, Lawrence Yoon of the National Association of Realtors believes short sales will become less popular. Many of the potential home buyers are actually shying away from uh, short sales activity and rather looking at foreclosed home because those require, those uh, get much quicker transactions. So we may actually see a trend of short sales leveling up or perhaps even falling, yet at the same time seeing a rising incidence of foreclosed sales. Despite the hassle, the Grossenbachers say they would consider a short sale home again. If you have the time to sit around and be patient, it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's, it, it was definitely worth it. Erica Miller, Nightly Business Report, Pearl River, New York.